it's the day of our Israeli wedding, and we still need to take some photos with my family and his family before the guests arrive. Alex, we need both families. Both families. OK, my family is there. Get your family. They're right there. Where? We're here at the venue. I'm freaking out a little bit because, you know, I am a little bit worried what are people going to say. Are they going to show up at all? And it's, it's stressful right now. We need to go upstairs and, and stay there. We cannot. For what? Because we're not supposed well, to be here right now. Well, I don't know what to right tell now. you. We need photos. I'm in the middle of taking pictures with Alex's family and my family, and Alex is starting to freak out because people are coming, and he's saying, oh, you can't see the bride. It's not a big deal. There's like five people here. Like, we need photos with our family. We gotta go upstairs and hide. We have like 10 minutes. He is like snipping at me. We need to be upstairs. We need to do this. We need to do that. We're not supposed to be here. Alex, you need to move your parents aside, please. We're, I want to do one with my parents first. Lauren wanted to, to take pictures, and that's not the custom here. And I keep telling her, we need to go up, we need to go up. And she didn't understand it and got me frustrated. Alik, let Artem, Alex, let's go. Parents first. OK, parents first. Artem, say, you come in. God, it's such a headache. Everybody smile. <laughs> Where's my drink? Ooh. We don't even have seating arrangements. And we haven't even spoken to the rabbi. I'm starting to twitch like crazy. Now that the wedding is happening, I feel like all of these details and conversations that Alex had that I wasn't a part of we should have discussed beforehand, and now it's just complete chaos. It's so unorganized, and on top of it, I don't know who's here. Alex has no idea who's here. Right, I'm going upstairs to drink my sorrows away. Things didn't work out the way and she you know wanted, what? and no matter what happens, we smile and say nothing. Smile nothing. and wave. There you go. That, <laughs> please, please. Can we get through this wedding, please? I need my veil. Where's your? I need your spillin. I need my drink. Yeah. Here, let's do a quick, like, sit down with you guys. <laughs> it's the big day, and it's, it's everything is uh, so unorganized and so balagan. And I don't know why. I mean, it, I know why. Why? Because you should have listened to me from the get-go. We don't even have a seating arrangement, and no, we're getting married. No, because we didn't because, know. Because we didn't know who's coming. Why is that? What? Because I messed up. Okay, exactly. here we go. I feel guilty enough without her telling me, I told you so, I told you so. So right now we can't do anything. What I told you so is going to do for us, nothing good. What are you worried about right now, Alex? Uh, I'm not worried. Lauren, and if you want to put me down on some more, Oh my god. Fun, like it this really? day is... Come on, Alex. What? Come on, Alex. What? You're going to do this right before we walk down the aisle. You did this, not me. So you need to have an attitude. I think the Alex uh, from Florida is here right now. OK. The Alex from Israel is so much different. He's been here for the past few days. This is the Alex from Florida. I say the Florida Alex is coming out because we're just bickering so much at home in America that I didn't want it to come to Israel. Like That was the point, to leave it all behind and move forward, and that's it. I'm tired. And exhausted and uh, just want to get it done and that's it. This is not what I imagined. Well, that's I did the best that I could. And well, I, know I did you the f best I could too, Lauren. I was Lauren. about to say, I know you yeah, did too. But that's too. not what you said. You, but you, didn't, second, you just cut me off. Because a second ago, you I'm said it's all your right fault. Now. Do not put this on TV. I'll, I'll seriously rip your off. Anyway, it's OK. Oh we'll get this over it. This is not happening. This is what's, not happening. Where are you going? Away from you. OK. I'm supposed to be walking down the aisle to Alex in 20 minutes, and I don't even want to look at him right now. It's just such an important day. It's not just about the wedding for his family and friends. It's about me being accepted by them, too, and them seeing how happy we are together. And we're fighting right now. Like, how are they going to see how happy we are if we're fighting? 
right before we walk down the aisle. Babe. Not right now, Alex. Huh? Not right now. What not right now? I what? I just want to be left alone. OK. So that doesn't mean come in here. People will come show up and... I don't care about people coming and showing up. So what, what? I care about the fact that everything is going wrong. What is going Every, wrong? You're the one telling me everything's going wrong. That's what I'm not. I'm freaking out. Yeah, because the Alex you're... from Florida is here right now, and I want the oh, Alex from Lauren. Israel. You know what, then he will nothing. stay if you keep doing this. He will stay that whatever no, you don't no, want. No, no. That's what you want? That's what you want, so st stop. Mm. Stop, you need to stop. There's so much pressure on us at this point. I don't know if any of my friends are gonna show up and I'm starting to regret trying to have this huge wedding. He's just going crazy. He's being I care because no, I'm the one that has to walk down the aisle to him. I'm irritated, I'm hot, I'm frustrated. This is not the right time to have this kind of fight. And baby, you love him, and this is just another party. You're gonna have so many, and so many fights, and so many problems. And I wanted it to be perfect for baby, him and his friends and his family perfect. to be a f again. You are perfect. I don't want to be perfect, I wanted the f everything to be perfect for him and his friends and his family, and that's why I did baby. it. I don't know. I don't know. I want to take a walk. Call Shimon and tell him to put the air conditioning on. I don't even know, like, what to do. Like, how do, what do I do? Do I wait down there? Do whatever you want. You need to do whatever you want. You're yeah, but, like, mingle. You're good like, where are my parents? Are my parents supposed to be up here? Are they down there? Like, I don't even know what time it is. They just went at each other. I hope that doesn't translate into he wants to stay. Oh, me too. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, what's making you anxious? My husband. Talk to me. Where is he sitting? I have no idea where he is. Away from you. Okay. Like he's just going crazy. He's being an. Cares. I care because no, I'm the one that has to walk down the aisle to him. Alex and I are in Israel to do our second wedding for his family and friends, and we just got into a huge fight 20 minutes before our wedding, and he left. I have no idea where he is. Oh, really. He's it was just building up, and it was going to happen eventually. It's just a matter of when and where. Where are you going? I don't know. Can you stay with her? I don't know. I want to take a walk. This is not the time for him to be a jerk to me. Is this wedding going to happen? I have no idea. We're supposed to be walking down the aisle in a few minutes.